Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily. Today's video we're going to be taking a look at swatches and dupes for the Kat Von D 10th Anniversary Eyeshadow Palette. So I did swatch this with a bunch of stuff out of my own collection. I'm sure there's other things that will also match, but this is the best I could do with what I had available. So let's get started. Please note as we're looking at the swatches, usually the first shade is at the bottom with all of its duplicates, and then I move my way up my arm. So just to be aware. So first up is the shade Malice. That is sort of the burgundy red that is second in the palette. I compared it to the Kat Von D Saint and Sinner shade Stigmata directly below that. That has much more of a glitter finish to it. It doesn't quite match. I also pulled out my Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture palette and compared it against All Star. All Star is definitely more of a of a deeper red, not so much of a brick red, uh, but the pigmentation was very similar. I also pulled from the ABH Prism palette. I showed Saturn. Saturn is way more orange than Malice is. Uh, but I did think Malice was a pretty good shade uh, when I used it on my eye. It packed on pretty nicely. Next, if we take a look at the Adele shade from the 10th anniversary palette, that shade's not particularly exciting. Uh, it's pretty comparable to the shade below it, which is the Kat Von D Metal Matte in the shade Oak. That's both in the regular Metal Matte as well as the Mini. A little bit patchy. It's not a great shade. It's also very similar to the Kat Von D Saint and Sinner palette, the shade Crucifix. It's a slightly different color of brown. And below that, we also have the comparison to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette, the shade Rowdy. Uh, Rowdy looks really great in the swatch, but I find that one to be pretty difficult to work with in real life, so it's not my favorite shade or anything, but it definitely looks way more pigmented in comparison. I could have done an entire armful of gold eyeshadow in order to compare against Egypt from the 10th anniversary collection, but I decided just, you know, four was enough. So if you can see, compared to the Kat Von D Metal Matte Palette, the shade Flash, it's pretty similar. It's not exactly the same shade of gold, but it's pretty similar. It's also very similar to the Saint and Sitter shade Relic. They have a very similar quality. It's just a slightly different shade of gold. Similarly to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette in the shade Pyramid, or the Urban Decay Heavy Metals in the shade Twisted. If you've got a gold eyeshadow like this, it's a very nice one. It's a good foiled finish, but it's not anything particularly special. Below that, you're going to see the 10th Anniversary Edition shade Gina. That's sort of the orangey shade next to Egypt. That one is okay. There weren't a lot of duplicates for that in my collection. The closest was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette in the shade New Wave, which is a shade I do like. I thought Gina was okay. I did use it a little bit on a different day. It's fine, but there's nothing particularly exciting about it. Below that, we'll see the shade Ashley, which I used in my look video previously. I thought that was a pretty good shade. It looks really good on my eyes, and it went on very pigmented. I compared it to the Kat Von D Pastel Goth Clementine, which is much lighter, and also the Kat Von D Metal Matte in the shade Fringe, which is even lighter than that. Those are shades I like a lot as transition shades. And then I also compared it to the Saint Sinner shade Devil, which is a lot more red as opposed to orange, but it is pretty similar. Next up is my favorite shade in the palette. That's the shade Leafer. That is the top. I don't have anything that I can find in my collection that's very similar to it. However, I'm pretty sure that the Metal Crush eyeshadow single from Kat Von D in the shade Iggy is probably pretty close to it. That might be slightly more blue, but it's a very similar kind of green. Unfortunately, I can't find my eyeshadow singles at the moment, so I just had to skip over that one. I did also compare it to the Violet Boss Rainbow Palette in C form. That's not the same shade. That's definitely a lighter, shinier color. Uh, but again, I just don't really have a good green quite like this, although I am pretty sure that the Iggy shade is similar. Below that, you have the shade Lala. That's sort of an army green. I compared that to the Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture in Destiny. That's definitely a lot more pigmented, but that's just kind of the nature of that palette. And then also the Pastel Goth in Dagger. That's definitely a much lighter grayish green as opposed to an army green, but it's kind of similar. Below that, you have Sylvia. That's the sort of beigey, mustardy shade next to Egypt in the 10th anniversary palette. Uh, in comparison to the ABH subculture in Dawn, that Dawn's definitely more orange, but in the ABH Prism palette, those are pretty close. So the, the shade Unity and Sylvia are pretty similar. You may notice I have skipped over the shade Melanie. That is because it does not show up on my arm, so there's nothing to swatch against. So just imagine it swatched next to other things that don't show up on my particular skin tone, like the Kat Von D shade Bone also doesn't really show up on me either. Instead, we're going to look at the shade Catherine 2. That's at the top. That's a very pretty shade, very sparkly, very awesome. It's uh, The shade from the Satan Center palette Worship is definitely a lot darker, but it's got a similar beautiful glimmer finish. And from the Metal Matte palette, it's very similar to the shade Bolt. They're not exactly the same, but again, if you've got some of these other palettes, you have a pretty similar color. Below that, you're going to see the shade Nancy. 
So Nancy's sort of like a brownie beige. I compared that to the Shade and Eye Glimmer palette in the shade Dune. The finish is not the same, but the color is very similar. And then also against the Metal Matte in the shade Fringe. Uh, that's definitely a lot lighter, so it's not an exact duplicate. They don't have anything exactly the same as Nancy. Below that, you're going to see the shade Alexandra. That's the beautiful, like, sort of sparkle pink shade. I compared that to the Saint Cinder shade in Rapture. That's got a much deeper pink to it. And then I also showed it against the Fenty Galaxy palette in Meteor Crush. That's the other place I go to when I'm looking for a nice glittery pink. So similar, not exactly the same, but you can get a similar effect. Next up, we have the 10th anniversary shade Sarah. That is the light gray. That's a perfectly nice color. Nothing particularly exciting about it. The St. Center Ashes has a gold glitter in it, so it is not the same, but if you build that up, you can get a similar base coat. Uh, I also compared this to the Urban Decay Ultimate Naked Basics in the shade Tempted. That was probably the closest in color match that I had of my nude eyeshadows. Again, this color is not particularly exciting. I'm pretty sure if you have the Kat Von D Crystals palette, you probably have a gray similar to this. That palette is full of gray. In fact, like a lot of these colors on the bottom row of the 10th anniversary collection remind me of that palette, which I no longer have. I did declutter it just because a lot of those grays don't really work for me. Below that, you're going to see the shade Kelly. That's that really cool, sparkly, bluey, purpley, greeny shade. It's kind of hard to quantify what it looks like because it's all different colors when you look at it in person. It's a lovely shade. I also compared it to the Saint and Sinner Investment. That's definitely a much darker color version of it. Also, I compared it to the Metal Matte in Ignite as well as Watt. Those are neither of them exactly the same color, but have a similar kind of finish to them. And then there's also, uh, in comparison to Vestment, it's much closer from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism palette in the shade Throne. Vestment and Throne look the most alike. Uh, Kelly is definitely a lot lighter, but it is a really beautiful shade. And last up, we have the Deep Blue shade. That's the shade Chad in the 10th Anniversary palette. It's really, really similar to the Metal Matte Velour shade. Like, very, very similar in person. The photo, it doesn't quite look as similar as it actually does in person, but trust me, it's pretty darn close. It's also compared to the Saint and Cinder palette in the shade Ministry. Ministry is definitely one of those foily finish shades, so it's not the same. Chad is definitely a matte. But, you know, for a, for a Deep Blue matte, it's a nice one, uh, but it's nothing special. You can get this in a different palette. Below that, we have the shade Carolyn. I do actually like the shade Carolyn, but it, it is a little bit patchy. You have to build it up a little bit in order to get it to work. I found that there wasn't an exact duplicate in the Kat Von D, but similar ones in the Metal Matte palette, you can see the Moth shade has definitely got more of like a, a green, army green finish to it. I also compared it to the shade Stone, which I thought would look more similar than it does. It doesn't actually. And then I compared it to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture palette in both Axis and Untamed. Axis is like a much more intense version of Carolyn, although Untamed is not that different from it either. So if you've got some of these other shadows, you're going to get the same sort of effect that you're getting from Carolyn, so you might not need the shades either. Anyway, I hope these swatches were helpful and that you could sort of figure out if this palette is something you need to add to your collection. Thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying the content on this channel, please subscribe. And if you got a suggestion for a video, please put that in the comments down below. I hope you're all having a wonderful day, and I will see you all soon. Bye!